What is layering in Muvizu? Do you remember your last birthday, when after blowing out the candles, you started slicing the cake? Why did you do it? Have you thought about that? You did it, because you wanted to share it with your family and friends, so that each one could taste it individually in a particular way. This way each slice has an individual function, even though it belongs to the same cake. What happens to layers in Mivizu has some similarities. Layering, is the process by which you group objects of a scene into one or more groups, isolating them from the rest, so that they can be used in new scenes or contexts. Although they all belong to the same scene, each one of them can have, a different function, depending on what each one of us wants to assign to it. Let me explain better. Imagine this scene with several objects, that you want to render in order to apply some effect afterwards, but you only want to apply them to some planes. For example, you want to blur the landscape behind the car, and the tree in front of it, stressing the, the importance of the vehicle in motion. In this case you group these objects in three layers. After rendering you will get layered clips to another software, where you can apply those effects and render the final scene. Sometimes you need to isolate a clip to paste over a video or animation created in another environment. The use of layers is also very important, when you want to create crowded scenes. A big number of actions which exceed the computing capacity or the memory resources of the system. Create a limited group of actions inside Mivizu, place it into a new created layer and render it. After that, go to an application like After Effects. Duplicate the rendered footage the numbers of times you wish, and create a crowd. But remind, for this to be possible, the video has to be rendered in a format that can have alpha channel. Personally, I always get sequences of images in PNG format, because they produced better images in final rendering. You're getting confused? Okay, let's go to the real world. First of all, to use layers in Mivizu, you must select DirectX 11, in File Options, to make use of this feature. In each scene, whatever the number of objects, when the Layer View window is opened, there is only a single layer called Background, which includes all objects in the scene. The Background layer, is the only layer that cannot be deleted. If you double-click Layer Name, a small window opens, showing three checkboxes, one for object's visibility, owned by the layer, one to choose if this layer is rendered or not when you make a video, and one to decide if you want to separate shadows from objects creating to separate folders for them. After deciding the number of layers to create, start to make a new layer and place some of the items from your scene, into this new layer. Do that, as many times you want.
After all the items have been distributed, taking care to group them according to the depth of field, it is time to proceed with the rendering of the layers. In Make Video Windows, open Advanced tab and choose Image Sequence as Output. Keep Flatten Layers deselected otherwise you don't get separate layers folders. Cut out occludens is selected, in this example. I will show later what it means. Meanwhile let it like it is. In Layers tab select the layers you want to render. After rendering, if the respective folder is opened, you can see sequential images of the rendered layers. Now is time to use an editor, like After Effects or Hit Film, and apply filters, make overlays, change luminosity, play with color and texture, and much more. I'm finishing now. Is something missing? Yes. Cut out occludens. Maybe you didn't notice, but some rendered images had a kind of shadows or cuts, when objects from other layers were in front. That is a cut out effect, only because it was selected in make video window. Deselect it and your rendered image will be like this. Thanks for watching.